Hey guys, this is Patrick Style here and I uh, wanted to take you through a little workflow of uh, something I've done recently that's very, very cool. Basically, the, the high level uh, use case that we're trying to do here is to take a very advanced form on a WordPress website and get that form data into Podio, all right? And so what we're gonna need in order to do that is a WordPress website, of course. You're gonna need to use Gravity Forms you're going to need the Gravity Forms Zapier add-on, and you're going to need Global Flow, and of course, Podio. Um, and so what I have here is this form, basically on this uh, first page, I just ask them a simple text question. Uh, this is like a so little survey, and then the rest of the survey, I have some different questions here that like if I answer, haven't I haven't started a business yet, um, then the next page is going to ask me some specific questions about that. Why haven't you started a business yet? And what do I need help with? Um, but if I go back here and change my answer to the second option, I have a business, then you'll see that on this next page, it asks me questions like, how is your business doing so far? What business systems are you cur are currently being managed by someone else? So, um, and so I can do that, you know, every step of the way if I wanted to. I can have all kinds of custom logic in here. I can use uh, Stripe integration and other integrations that uh, Gravity Forms has with their form. Um, so you can see I'm doing um, check boxes and radio buttons and text fields and uh, all kinds of stuff. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill out the form here so that we can see this data land in Podio and you can kind of see what happens here. Okay, so I'm gonna submit this. All right, now if I go into my Podio and refresh my uh, Podio app where I have this linked up, I can see this new record in here in my surveys app. So I have a full contact here, Patrick Style, with my email address uh, inserted in, so this is cool. Um, this is like one of the only ways that I know of that you can get a, a full contact record uh, or field filled out in Podio uh, with an external integration. Um, so text um, here you can see this is a category field in Podio and I have uh, been able to successfully map that into there. Uh, same thing for all these other fields. So you can see all these category fields being mapped in here correctly etc. Okay, so that's all great. So now how did I do that? All right, so first let's go into um, my WordPress backend. And in here, uh, when you're at the, you know, so I, what I've done is I'm, I've gone into the business owner survey form and I've gone into form settings. And once you have um, Gravity Forms and the Zapier add-on, configured, you're going to be able to see this Zapier link here. And so, um, so obviously you have to set up your form, do all, you know, do all the work to get your form up and running and test it and all that kind of stuff, add it onto a page like, like I showed you. And then you're going to have to come in here to the Zapier tab. So in this case, we're not using Zapier at all, but it just so happens that when you add a Zapier feed, what you have to provide it is just a, a name, so just give it whatever name you want, and then a webhook URL, okay? So this Zapier integration probably should just be called a webhook integration because all it's doing is using a webhook that um, the receiving application gives you. It could be Zapier, but in our case, it's gonna be Global Flow, all right? And so once you get to this screen, then you're gonna go over to your Global Flow. Let me log in here. And uh, what you're gonna do here is go, you're gonna have an entry up here at the very top of your global flow uh, admin. And so you're gonna click on web hooks and you're gonna add a new web hook. When you do that, it's gonna give you this URL right here. This is your web hook URL, okay? And so this is what you're gonna take and you're going to, you're gonna add it in here, okay? Now, since I already have this set up, I'm not gonna add a new one but we can look at, um, so this is the, the one I had set up for this particular surveys form. So you'll just see that I've pasted in the webhook in there that I got from Global Flow. And let me go back to my webhooks again. And so we can see in here, I've set up a bunch of these. 
Here's a small business owner survey. And let me edit that one. So you can see there's the web hook that I have entered in. Um, and once you do that, you're going to see this web hook data here. This is basically showing you the data that Global Flow is receiving from the particular application, in this case, uh, our Gravity Forms application. <clears throat> and anytime you post um, some new data in here, you can click on this refresh and it'll automatically refresh this uh, data. And so you can see that data in there. So if you change up your, your form and you add a new field to it or something like that, or you want to test out some specific type of data, you can do that and just hit refresh and you'll be able to see it. So the first big thing that you need to know to make this work is to be able to use the Zapier add-on and the webhook URL. Okay. The second thing you need to know is that you should always, always, always add in as a first action a sanity check and check for one of these fields that's coming over to make sure that it's not null. Basically, you want to check one of your required fields. So if if name, my the name field in my particular form was a required field. So I want to make sure that that's not blank because what can happen is that when you're updating your uh, gravity forms, the actual form itself. So if you're adding new fields and saving that, I think that that in itself will trigger the webhook to be posted. It'll be posted to Global Flow and you'll get some blank records showing up in your Podio data or you'll get errors from it or something like that. I forget what happens. But anyways, you just want to put in a sanity check in here to make sure that one of your required fields is not null, meaning that um, if it is null, then this sanity check is going to is going to bomb out and um, it's not going to continue on. Then from there, you're just going to do your normal global flow stuff. So in this particular case, I told it to create a new survey in the survey uh, surveys app. I configured a contact uh, or I added a field for my contact and told it it was a contact type field. And I was able to map in the name and the email address. That's how I got the contact record set up in there um, for the category fields. Um, you have to use a calculation field type. Um, so I think you actually have to, it's been a while since I did this. I think you have to actually set up, let's see, not that. You have to do this custom calc, adds it down at the end. Uh, let's see. Where did it add? Custom calc. Oh, that's a filter, never mind. Oh, sorry. These are just these are just the fields um, in this app, and so you're just going to yeah. So to get these, you're just going to um, choose the field that you want, and you're going to specify that it's a calc a calculated field, and then you're just going to come in and choose the correct field from your webhook. And you can see that all these uh, webhook fields have the word webhook in front of them. Um, and so you just choose the correct field and that's all you have to do. So just by doing it as a calculation field, it's going to map into that category correctly. If it's a text field and you just want to use value. Okay. Really, those are the main things that you need to know. Other than that, you have to know how to use global flow and that's a whole different video and tutorial or whatever. But um, if you're looking for help with this, uh, please let me know. I'd be glad to help. You can reach me at Patrick at infranet.com. And uh, be glad to help you with anything about related to Podio or Global Flow um, or Gravity Forms. Okay, thanks a lot.